What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here with my reaction to episode 366. Now I'm having a bad day today because I just found out that where I stay we're going back into lockdown until like right before Christmas. And you know as if this year couldn't get much worse but now you're taking away like my favorite time of the year which is to go like Christmas shopping, check out the winter wonderland because believe it or not we get snow usually around this time of the year and now I'm not even going to be able to get like a Starbucks and you know what I don't even necessarily like Starbucks I just like going somewhere just to get a coffee so I'm a little bit of a Debbie Downer today because I just I can't be bothered with it anymore you know that and I feel like we're all kind of on the same wavelength as it is and I can actually totally understand people that are like that's it I'm leaving the country until all of this is like back to normal <laughs> where I stay because if I didn't have my dog I would probably do the same. But enough about all of that kind of stuff. I'm here today. We're going to delve on into episode 366. Now don't forget if you want to watch this episode before everyone on YouTube to head on over to my website suzylou.co.uk and make sure you're following me over on my social medias because I'm doing another Q&A this week and you need to submit your questions over on my Instagram. So make sure you are following me over there. This is quite a disgusting sight, right? Kage? The real Hashirama touted as a god of shinobi? What? It's that shinobi Orochimaru again. What's going on? I suspect what's going on is that he undid the Reaper Death Seal. The very same thing that sealed us away. And then performed the reanimation jutsu. It was originally a sealing jutsu of the Uzumaki clan. I extensively researched the ruins and scattered documents of the now extinct clan since I lost my jutsu. Well, Lord First, it appears that we've been recalled to the world of the living. Oh my gosh, whatever you do, do not let Naruto fight his dad. Please, Orochimaru. The fourth Hokage, sir. Oh ho, the fourth Hokage, huh? Nice, nice. The village has remained stable then. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it has or not. Because, you see, I died and was sealed away much earlier than the third Hokage was. I love this! It's like a, hi, how do you do? And Orochimaru is like... She was my first grandchild. I spoiled her rotten. In the end, she even picked up my gambling habit, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, she did! <laughs> How do I put it? Uh... I mean, even Orochimaru is like, jutsu eh. again. The jutsu I devised used so casually. Well, it really isn't all that complex a jutsu. But you shouldn't have created it. I agree, actually. It's caused nothing but problems. Are you planning to attack the leaf again? I took away your jutsu in exchange for my own life. Yet even now, you still... And then at this time, you revived me, your former master, to pit me against the leaf? Ugh, oh, conflict no matter what era, huh? For sure, it can't be called a great jutsu. Tobirama, that's why I told you that time to... Be quiet, Elder... <laughs> I love these guys! They're so cheesy! I do not have any more leanings in that direction at all. That's Excuse why I me? didn't suppress your personalities. Certain circumstances are at play this time. I am merely creating a stage for discourse per his desire. I want to ask you, Hokage, some things. Hmm? You, Sasuke? You belong to the Uchiha, do you? Of course you'd stick with a scoundrel. Tobirama, I thought I told you to stop saying things like that. You're too soft, elder brother. It doesn't matter. Third Hokage, why'd you make Itachi do it? Is this why you wanted him back? So you could get the real answers. I want to hear it straight from your mouth. Everything regarding Itachi. So it came to that. 
I not only had him kill his brethren and bear the false charge of traitor, but also keep tabs on the Akatsuki by himself. Since he was young, Itachi paid attention to the teachings and signs of our predecessors no one else gave heed to. He was a sensitive child who understood our village's past and shinobi. That's the problem. Because he was so intelligent from such a young age, he was like a really great asset to the Leaf Village, which unfortunately they took advantage of. Even at the age of seven, he thought quite like a Hokage. That is crazy! He could have been like the youngest Hokage. He even infiltrated the Akatsuki as a spy to protect the village. All on the condition that I protect you, Sasuke. <coughs> so all of it's true. This is all just part of the Uchiha's cursed fate. The rebellious elements bearing Madara's will have been smoldering. But you're the one who drove them to it, Lord Second. It could be said that the seeds were sown with the Uchiha Leaf police force you created. What's that? Those who control crime also tend to be very easily disliked. Conspicuously shoved the Uchiha clan to the margins of the village. That helped foster Madara's followers. Yeah, and unfortunately Madara's got a big mouth and he's still using it! As you know, Elder Brother, the Uchiha are a clan possessed by evil. It's like I don't know if you should be saying that in front of Sasuke when he already feels the way he does and now you're just calling him evil. The Senju and Uchiha clans have a long history. That is a long history of battling with each other. In fact, the two clans were once bitter enemies. I know that much. But how are the Uchiha possessed by evil? It was said that in contrast to the Senju clan, who based their strength on love, the Uchiha clan's strength was based on the power of their jutsu. However, the truth is different. No clan feels deeper love than the Uchiha, and that's why they suppressed and sealed it away. It's as if all their previously checked emotions are released. Strong love and power exceeding even the Senju's awaken. What? What? Like... This great power hides within it the possibility of losing control. When an Uchiha has known love, then loses that deep love, it is replaced by an even stronger hate that changes them. I've seen it happen quite a few times. I mean, that explains what happened to Sasuke because he went from like loving his brother to then absolute psychopath wanting to kill his brother. And it was that passion that caused all of this. The Sharingan taps into the power of that person's heart, rapidly increasing their strength, along with the power of their hate. There were many sensitive people among the Uchiha and nearly all exposed to strong emotions were taken by darkness and fell to evil. The deeper the darkness gets, the greater the visual prowess till that person can't be stopped. Just like Madara. If their self-destruction benefited the village, then so be it. Either way, in the end, they were of use to the Leaf Village. Toberama, stop saying such things! You are speaking to an innocent Uchiha child! What's all- Innocent? <laughs> Good one! For I am neither innocent nor a child. It's not the basic Tamoe pattern. He's got the Mongekyo Sharingan. First Hokage, I ask you this. What does it mean to be a village? And what does it mean to be a shinobi? I feel like Sasuke is really confused right about now. And that's why he's bringing all of these Hokage back. But my question is, why the fourth? And what do you need to ask Naruto's dad? I'll listen to your response and find out the truth. And then I'll make my decision. Whether to declare vengeance on the leaf or... Or what?
You once tried to destroy the Leaf Village. At first, I believed it when you said that it was on a whim. But now I know it wasn't. What was the real reason? Vengeance against the Leaf? You brat full of Uchiha evil. In that case... <laughs> Lord Second. Tobirama! I was gonna say, that was the wrong thing to say. He's still gonna want to protect the Leaf. Lower your finger. Oh, all right. Don't rile up your chakra, elder brother. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. As you were. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Lord Hashirama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder where Tsunade gets it from. Hmm. I don't mind telling you more about the village, but it'll take time. If possible, please tell the child everything he wants to know quickly. We don't really have much time. Why is there no time? There's a war going on. Madara Uchi has been revived and seeks to erase the world shinobi. Ah, always conflict, no matter what era. Oh my god, I was gonna say, what's Naruto's dad gonna think about this? He's gonna be like, can I go and help, please? That's Naruto on the Ninetales Chakra. I see. You did it, Naruto. And you're fighting together even now. Yes! It seems to be the truth. I do indeed sense Madara's Chakra. Then we ought to head right to the battlefield. If you must, you may head down to the battle after we're done talking. No, we can talk later. Wait, you're going to allow them to fight? Really? If the explanations that you give don't satisfy Sasuke, I may use all of you to destroy the leaf now. The timing couldn't be better. Oh my god. Okay, just make sure you say the right things, but I still think he's going to destroy it anyway. The fact that you've made the reanimation jutsu more precise since last time shall be your downfall. Now that all of us here have been revived at nearly our original power, this reanimation jutsu of yours will not be able to bind me. Don't forget, I am the one who devised it in the first place. Brother, you must agree there's no choice. I have to act. <laughs> to be praised by the god of Shinobi is an honor. <laughs> I love him so much. It's like it's such a difficult situation and he's like ha ha ha. Most of his body is composed of my brother's cells. Now then, first Tokage Hashirama. He's different. He could undo my binding at any time. I'll have to be careful not to let down my guard. Listen Orochimaru, do not fret. I shall prioritize undoing the ill feelings that are binding this child. That if we ignore him now, he will definitely become the next Madara. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Just thinking about Sasuke being the next Madara. I can see it. In order to tell you about Village and Shinobi... What style? What dragon jutsu? I must first speak of the Uchiha and Senju clans. Wood style. Wood golem jutsu. Wood style, wood expulsion jutsu, was it? Perfect for taking on difficult beasts. Mm -hmm. He wrapped his Susano around the tailed beast like armor. Madara, you crafty fox. Wow, that was a catch and a half. Laughing Buddha Jutsu. <laughs> Laughing Buddha? Hell yes. I feel bad for Kuruma right now. You know that just because of what rate, I know about land will Kuruma. Be completely obliterated. It's best. There you are. Just try grabbing a hold of that. Now what? Summoning five-layer Rashomon. Oh, my.
my gosh, they're so cool! Yikes! All the way to the other shore. Hashirama, it has been a while since we fought each other all out. You can see that I have changed, can you not? This is disrespectful towards our brothers and our comrades. You know nothing of my... I don't want to have to kill you. Are you implying that you could take me down at any time? I'm not. I mean, we're friends. Enough of all this. Sage art. Wood style. Shinsu sends you veritable 1,000 arm cannon. What? This is ridiculous. chills you guys oh this is a fight that i wish i could just see from like start to finish in regards to like a build-up they should do um a dlc <laughs> and i don't mean boruto because we all know that's technically a dlc they should do a dlc that follows the story of the um the uchiha and all of this like before naruto because i would love to see a build-up to that fight Oh, that would be awesome. So it's really interesting to me that Sasuke is desperate to know the truth. And obviously plenty of people have told him the honest truth, but he needs to hear it from different people. Obviously the Kage, he wants to hear it from them. But my question is, Orochimaru, he's a snake. We know that. What is his angle? Why is he standing beside Sasuke on this journey and is it really for something so basic as I just want his body you know so I'm not asking you guys to answer that I'm never anything I say I'm never asking you guys to answer it it's just my thoughts this is what I'm thinking so it does it makes me wonder if um Orochi is only hanging out with Sasuke because of the possibility of taking his body in future. Because now he's nothing more than a white Zetsu, technically. What will Sasuke's decision be? I don't think Sasuke... So here's what I don't think is going to happen. I don't think Sasuke is going to be like, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to destroy the Leaf Village. And I don't think they're going to allow the four Hokage to join the war to take out Madara. But in the same breath, it would still be in Orochimaru and Sasuke's best interest to get rid of Madara. So it's always a possibility, I suppose. Because they're just like too far gone. They're not going to accept Sasuke and Orochimaru. So yeah, there's a lot of thoughts that I'm thinking at the moment. But I guess I will have to just continue watching to find out. Thank you so much for watching my reaction. There was a lot of information in this, so I didn't want to talk over absolutely everything. I really wanted to listen and absorb everything. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye.